Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today, we're going to be taking a look at 6mm arc versus 6.5 Grendel. My thoughts and opinions on the cartridges themselves, the performance I was able to get out of both to 1,000 yards, and maybe which one you should invest your money in. Quickly talking about the biggest three sponsors of the channel. Number one is going to be my Subscribestar followers. They directly support the channel and in return get access to giveaways and some additional content. Number two and three is going to be Optics Planet and Callaway Ballistics. You can use code FOCUS at both of those to save yourself some money. Now, full disclosure, on the first build, I am a dealer for a lot of the components on here. This is my personal 16-inch, 6-millimeter arc. So the Ballistic Advantage Premium Black Barrel, dealer for them, dealer for Geisley, dealer for Aero Precision as well. So just keep that in mind. Now, the second build, this is a 18-inch, 6.5 Grendel, which is actually a customer's build that he paid me to assemble and do some testing on it as well. So he actually provided all of the money for the ammunition for the 6.5 Grendel. This is using a 18 inch Ballistic Advantage premium stainless steel barrel. So it's the same heavy profile, just two inches longer. And the parts is a little bit different, but it's not gonna matter too much when we get into performance later on. Now to lay the groundwork, we should probably start out with the cartridges themselves, 6.5 Grendel and of course 6 Arc. They're both using the same parent case of 220 Russian. The 6.5 Grendel is obviously using a six and a half millimeter projectile and the six millimeter arc is using a six millimeter projectile, pretty easy to understand. Now they both use the same case and they both use the same bolts as well. So the same BCG can run in one AR-15, that 6.5 Grendel, and you can swap it straight over to a six arc as well. Now for this illustration, I'm going to compare the two cartridges that I actually had the best success with and therefore used the most out to a thousand yards. For the 6.5 Grendel, that was the Hornady Custom 123 grain SST. For the 6mm ARC, that was their 108 grain ELD match. Now, the 6 ARC is of course lighter, 108 grains versus 123 on the 6.5 Grendel. However, the 6mm projectile has a ballistic coefficient of 0.536, which is basically how efficient does it fly through the air, and the heavier 6.5 Grendel only has a ballistic coefficient of 0.510. Even though it's a lighter bullet, it's also slightly smaller in diameter, which results in a slightly higher ballistic coefficient. Again, about 5% higher, so not that much better, but it is a slightly better ballistic coefficient. Keep in mind that it's also using almost identical case capacity, so you're able to launch that 6 arc projectile faster than you're able to launch the 6.5 Grendel. So even though in this comparison we're using a 18-inch 6.5 Grendel and a 16-inch 6 arc, we're still gonna get slightly higher velocities out of the six arc with slightly higher efficiencies as well. Now getting into the builds themselves so we can compare and contrast before we go out to distance. Starting off with the 6.5 Grendel, we have an 18 inch rifle length gas 6.5 Grendel barrel. Of course, this is the Ballistic Advantage Premium Series. So it is 416R stainless steel. Profile is what they call their SPR profile. So it's basically a 0.9 inch straight taper to the gas block journal which is 0.750, and then basically just a straight shot to the threads themselves, which are in 5 8 by 24. Now the optic on the 6.5 Grendel build is the Riton 3 to 18 by 50 first focal plane with a mill grid reticle. The optics, that's where the biggest difference comes in, though I did limit both of them to 20 power, so I wasn't uh, taking advantage with the other build, which we'll get into in just a minute. Now the trigger on the 6.5 Grendel build is from Ballistic Engineering. It is one of their AR enhanced triggers. They're a very, very new company on the market. They reached out and sent me a couple triggers that I used in this video. It is a fantastic trigger. It did have a couple hiccups that I managed to resolve a little bit later on working with the owner of the company, but the trigger itself comes in at about two pounds and zero creep, very short reset. All the nice things that you would expect from a very, very nice AR trigger. Now that's about the most important stuff when it comes to accuracy, the barrel, the optic, and the trigger. There are a few things that matter as well, which is the muzzle device and the bolt as well, making sure that that has a really good fit but both of these are using the same muzzle device, same suppressor. Now, getting into my personal six millimeter arc build, this is also using a Ballistic Advantage barrel. However, this is a 16 inch mid premium black series. So it's still 416R stainless steel, of course, mid length gas on a 16 inch barrel, but this one here is also a black nitride. So it's still stainless steel, but of course, black nitride finish versus the bare stainless on the 6.5 Grendel. Now the optic on the 6 arc build is much, much nicer. This is the Maven RS.4, which is a five to 30 by 56 first focal plane optic, Japanese, everything on it, fantastic turrets, great reticle, 
very, very nice scope, about twice the cost of the other. So to kind of even things out a little bit, I maxed it out at 20 power. So I didn't go beyond 20 power for the thousand yard shots that we were taking to kind of keep them as close as I can. Another little handicap on the six arc is that the trigger I was using was the ballistic engineering core trigger, which is about a four pound pole. So it's a little bit heavier. Still a very, very nice trigger. Both builds were again using the same Reardon single port brake and YHM Resonator K with a titanium adapter. Now getting into the accuracy results that I was able to get out of both of these uppers, keep in mind that I'm the one who built both of them. I assemble them in the exact same way, the same way that I assemble all of my upper receivers. So starting off with the six millimeter arc using that ELD 108 match ammunition from Hornady, I was able to get about one and a half to two MOA out of it, which I was not particularly happy with. However, then at 300 yards to confirm zero, I put up this group. Okay. Which is probably just under one MOA at 300 yards. So not really sure what to think about that. But moving on to the 6.5 Grendel, starting out with 123 grain Hornady Black. That did not group well whatsoever, which is kind of disappointing. I usually get pretty decent results with Hornady Black match style ammunition. However, I got about two and a half, maybe three MOA, so not great. However, with the again 123 Hornady custom ammunition that I use for most of the distance shooting, that came in right at one MOA, which I was much, much happier with. Now, starting to work out to a thousand yards, I had a eight by 12 inch target at 300 yards, basically just to confirm zero, make sure that everything was working properly. Then at 600 yards, I had a reduced size man, which is 11 and a half by 20. And then at a thousand yards, I have a 11 and a half by 18 solid target. So it actually has a little bit more surface area than the one with the head cutout. Now at 300 yards, again, both were basically laser beams, did exactly what they should do, putting up both about a one MOA group at 300 yards. So I was very happy with that. Moving out to 600 yards, this is where they'll start to separate a little bit in terms of drop. The 6.5 Grendel is again, a heavier, slightly slower projectile. And again, that's gonna depend on your specific barrel length and loading that you chose to go with. However, the one that I have here Definitely starting to drop a little bit more at 600 yards, though again, both are extremely consistent and don't really care about the wind much at all, which is very nice. It makes distance shooting for somebody like me, who does not do it very often, very easy. Again, both scopes, three to 18, five to 30, only using 20 max on the Maven scope. Very easy, very clear at 600 yards. Now, out to a thousand yards, this is the first time I've ever shot out to a thousand yards, and this is measured via Google Maps, so it might be off anywhere from 20 to 50 yards at most, I would imagine, because I don't own a rangefinder. So this is all estimation of right at a thousand yards, could be plus a little bit, could be minus a little bit, but it should be right in that ballpark. Getting out there with the six arc was faster uh, because my guess on the drops was more accurate. So I was able to get out to target reasonably quickly in about probably a box from 300 yards to a thousand yards and hits were fairly consistent though. This is one area where I think the base accuracy of the rifle was starting to hold me back. For instance, two I'm away at a hundred yards is 20 plus inches at a thousand yards, which means I could be off the target up, down, left and right. And there were definitely some instances where a bullet would sail just underneath just to the left, just to the right, so on and so forth, even if I was using the exact same hold from a very, very stable position. Now, the 6.5 Grendel was more accurate, but it took me a little bit longer to get out just because the drop was much more extreme. I believe it was anywhere from four to five extra mils to get out to a thousand yards versus the 6 arc, because again, that projectile is dropping quite a bit faster. That being said, once I was on target, the better accuracy of that 123 grain custom from Hornady that allowed it to hit repeatedly, not 100% of the time, but basically 100% of the time when I was doing my part. Now, with all of that out of the way, which one is gonna be right for you? Well, if you're purely looking for a distance cartridge and you're fine either reloading or being stuck with the three Hornady offerings as of right now, then the six arc is a 
better long range cartridge. However, 6.5 Grendel does have a lot of advantages. While it might be the slightly inferior bullet in terms of its efficiencies, what you can get out of a 6.5 Grendel case, you do get a lot better ammo availability, meaning you have access to a lot of different loads for the same bullet. So you can find one that's gonna work really well with your barrel. Again, with six arc, you're either reloading or you're stuck with the three factory loadings that may or may not work very well in your specific barrel. For instance, in my ballistic advantage barrel, the six arc loadings all shoot somewhere between one and a half and two and a half MOA, which is fine inside of 600 yards, but when you stretch out to a thousand or beyond, that's really where that accuracy starts to come into play and can make hitting smaller sized targets very, very difficult, if not purely based on luck. Now, when it comes to cost, very interestingly, I actually spent more on the 6.5 Grendel Hornady Black and the Hornady Custom. I think I spent $32 and $33 respectively. However, my local Shields has 6 Arc for $26 and $27 a box for the Hornady ELDM and the Hornady Black respectively. So I actually spent less on the 6 Arc than I did on the 6.5 Grendel. Now online, ammo prices have varied wildly. So again, I would still say in general, 6.5 Grendel is cheaper on the match side of ammunition. And if you're looking for bulk cheap ball ammunition, or if you can still find the steel case stuff, 6.5 Grendel is of course gonna be far cheaper than 6 Arc. Now that's all mostly for a target application. If you're gonna be hunting per se, I think the 6.5 Grendel is kind of a no brainer. You again have access to a lot of different loads, different bullet weights, different projectiles, so on and so forth. And while it is a slightly heavier, slower round, you also do get a little bit more energy on target. So I think again, for the hunting context, 6.5 Grendel is kind of a no brainer. But that's about it for me on these two builds. As far as I'm concerned, the 18 and 6.5 Grendel performed very, very well. Very happy with its accuracy. Really only downside is that it drops quite quickly out to range. And on the 6 arc, while I'm happy enough with its performance out to 1,000 yards, I gotta do something to bring that accuracy down to around 1 MOA consistently. But with all that out of the way, guys, let me know what you guys think of these two builds and, of course, 6.5 Grendel versus 6 arc in general. And with all that out of the way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. God bless.